Okay, hi there. So I'm going to be talking about reactive list and object assignments, and I sort of covered this in list assignments video and also in a reactive assignments video, but this is just going to put them together uh, so you can see it all together, and there is some weird behavior that I'm not sure why it's happening, which I will show you at the end. Um, okay, so what I have here is a name variable, a name list, a name object, and the name list and name object are based off of the name variable. And then I just have this function that when you click the button, run some code here. Right now this is all commented out. And then a style thing, style tag, to style this pre, um, all of these. So you can see what the variable list and object are. Okay, so uh, first thing, update variable, and then update list and object. So if you want them to update, if you want to update these two, when this gets updated, you just got to make it a reactive assignment. Okay, and so when I update the name variable to something like Undertale, then it's going to update all of them. Okay, because they are watching for this to be updated and then they update themselves. If it's just, so that's situation one. Situation two would be you just declare them like that and then they're not going to be updated when this one gets updated. So it's like they get created, but then they just, it, they forget where their variable even came from. Okay, so this just becomes, it's as if you had just done, like, Persona 5 right here in each of them, okay? Okay, so that's the second situation uh, where you don't want them to update when this up st updates. Okay, the third thing is if you just want to update your list or name variable, and that is pretty straightforward also. You can just do name 0 equals something like that, and it'll update the list. And you can, oh, well, you can do a similar thing, object.name equals, um, and then that'll update that one like that. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so then the weird part is if you have a reactive name list and a reactive name object, and you try to update them like this, you click it once, it does nothing, you click it twice, and then it does something. So to me, that's a bit weird. I don't know why it does that um, exactly but that's just something to watch out for. So, you know, maybe in one function you have it... I hope it doesn't do that for you. In one function, a function in one function, you have it um, updating the variable equals Undertale, and you're like, oh, great, yeah, I want everything to update. And then you have some other function that is changing them on its own, though. Um, I would make another function, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, in this case, what is going to happen? It's going to change everything to Undertale, but then when you click it again, it's going to change these two. So it's running the exact same piece of code, but it's just, for some reason, this takes two clicks for it to work. And I don't even know, it's probably not two clicks, really. It's just that it takes two updates or something for these to update. I'm not sure if you know why why it does this weird behavior. Uh, let me know, but I would thought I would just make a video with all of this in one video. So let me know if you have any questions, and that is all.